Did you ever wonder why we can't see dinosaurs at the zoo today? Well, let's start from the beginning. Millions of years ago, long before the first humans walked the Earth, our planet was home to an array of fascinating creatures we now call dinosaurs. These weren't mythical beasts from a fantasy world. No, they were very real. Picture gigantic reptiles, some as tall as a five-story building, others as small as a turkey, roaming the lands, ruling the skies and ruling the seas. Dinosaurs came in all shapes and sizes, each uniquely adapted to its environment, each a testament to the wonders of evolution. From the fierce T-Rex to the gentle Brachiosaurus, dinosaurs truly were a marvel of nature. But here's the thing, as real as they were, as dominant as they were, dinosaurs are not around anymore. They vanished, leaving behind only their fossilized remains for us to find millions of years later. So why did they disappear? Let's unravel this mystery. Imagine waking up one morning and instead of being in your bed, you're in the body of a giant dinosaur. That's right, a colossal, awe-inspiring dinosaur. Your day starts with a loud, thunderous roar that echoes across the vast prehistoric landscape. You're a Tyrannosaurus rex, the king of the dinosaurs. Your size is formidable, standing over 20 feet tall with a length of up to 40 feet. But being big doesn't mean you can lounge around all day. Nope, you've got a job to do, hunting for food. As a carnivore, your diet includes other dinosaurs, so you spend a good chunk of your day on the prowl, using your keen sense of smell to track down your next meal. But wait, what's that rustling in the bushes? It's a velociraptor, a smaller but cunning predator. You have to always be on guard, protecting yourself from other dinosaurs who might see you as their next meal. It's a wild world out there, and survival is the name of the game. As the day progresses, you come across a herd of Triceratops grazing peacefully. These herbivores, with their three horned faces, are usually peaceful unless provoked. But you're not here to pick a fight, you're just passing through, giving them a wide berth. Your journey takes you across various habitats, dense forests, open plains, even crossing rivers. The world of dinosaurs is diverse, with each species adapted to thrive in their specific environment. As the sun starts to set, you return to your territory, meeting up with other T-Rexes. Dinosaurs, like us, had social interactions. Some traveled in herds, others had solitary lives, but all had to communicate and understand each other to survive. As the stars begin to twinkle in the night sky, you settle down for some well-deserved rest. It's been a long, eventful day. Living as a dinosaur is no walk in the park. It's a constant struggle for survival, filled with challenges and danger at every turn. Life as a dinosaur wasn't easy, was it? But it was certainly an adventure. Did you know that not all dinosaurs lived at the same time? That's right, the dinosaur era, also known as the Mesozoic era, is divided into three major periods the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods. Each of these periods had unique climates, geographies, and of course, dinosaurs. Let's journey back in time, about 250 million years ago, to the Triassic period. The Triassic was a time of recovery and regrowth after a massive extinction event. Dinosaurs were just starting to make their grand entrance. The climate was generally warm, and all the continents were joined together in a supercontinent called Pangaea. This period introduced us to small two-legged dinosaurs like the Eoraptor and the Herrerasaurus. Fast forward to the Jurassic period beginning around 200 million years ago. The climate was warm and humid and Pangaea started to break apart, leading to the formation of new land and sea environments. This period was truly the golden age of the giants. Dinosaurs like the long-necked Brachiosaurus and the iconic T-Rex began to roam the earth. Finally, we arrive at the Cretaceous period, about 145 million years ago. The climate continued to warm, and sea levels rose, creating islands and coastlines. This period was the heyday of some of our favorite dinosaurs, like the Triceratops and the Velociraptor. Throughout these periods, the Earth's climate and geography underwent significant changes. From the formation and breakup of Pangaea to the rise and fall of sea levels, these changes played a crucial role in the evolution of dinosaurs. They influenced the types of food available 
the habitats they lived in and even how they moved. So you see, the dinosaur era was a dynamic and evolving time with different dinosaurs making their mark in each period. But even though these periods had different types of dinosaurs, one thing remained constant, their dominance over the land. Dinosaurs ruled the earth for over 160 million years, a reign unlike anything else in earth's history. So what happened to these magnificent creatures, you may ask? Well, let's delve into the theories surrounding the mysterious end of the dinosaurs. While there are numerous theories, the asteroid impact theory is the most widely accepted. Picture this, a colossal asteroid about six miles wide hurtling towards Earth at breakneck speed. On impact, it would have caused a huge explosion, sending dust and debris into the atmosphere. This catastrophic event would have drastically changed the Earth's climate. The dust and debris would have blocked out the sun, causing a nuclear winter. Without sunlight, plants couldn't photosynthesize, leading to a collapse in the food chain. Herbivorous dinosaurs, unable to find food, would have starved, and in turn, the carnivorous dinosaurs that preyed on them would have suffered the same fate. This sudden change in climate and environment made survival extremely difficult for the dinosaurs. And just like that, the reign of the dinosaurs came to an abrupt end. But did all dinosaurs really disappear? You might think that dinosaurs are long gone, vanished, but hold on to your hats because here's a surprise. They're not. Dinosaurs live among us today. How, you might ask? Well, it's quite fascinating. You see, not all dinosaurs went extinct. Some evolved and adapted, becoming creatures we know and love today. Birds? Yes, that's right. Birds are the descendants of a group of two-legged dinosaurs known as theropods, the members of which include the mighty T-Rex and smaller velociraptors. Birds inherited certain traits from their dinosaur ancestors. For instance, have you ever noticed the scaly feet of a chicken or the sharp beak of a hawk? These are features that were present in their dinosaur ancestors. Even more astonishing is that birds not only inherited physical traits, but behaviors too. Ever seen birds communicating through chirps or defending their territories? These are behaviors that dinosaurs likely exhibited. So the next time you see a bird, remember, you're looking at a tiny feathered dinosaur. Let's take a quick journey back through the dinosaur age. We discovered the mystery of dinosaurs' existence, explored a day in their life, and journeyed through the Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods of the Mesozoic era. We learned about the unfortunate end of these magnificent creatures and how they left their mark on our world. Did you know that birds today are the descendants of dinosaurs? Fascinating, isn't it? So, even though dinosaurs are extinct, their legacy still lives on in our world today.